Hey. Hi, I'm Rook. I'm very much hoping you're Tosh. Yeah. Nice to meet you. The Lords want to hit a cave on the coastal cliffs. Big Vincimer makes her lair there. We get her out, the Lords get in, we go home and get drunk. Might be more on Tom. Don't get in my way. I've got a good feeling about her. So, what's the plan exactly? We need to lure the Vincimer out of her lair. I set bait, she comes out to eat. My partners loot the lair while she's out here. We'll find the bait on the beach. You said the dragon we're dealing with was a Vincima. Yeah, blue with a yellow belly. Breathes lightning. <gasps> oh, one that breathes lightning? I've heard stories. We're not fighting her. Lords just want the horde in her lair. On Tom ahead. Be ready. They go hard. Watch yourself. They have Gatlock cannons. Coming at range. You've got no problem fighting other Kunari. I'm from Ravain. Not like I follow the Kuhn. You've got the arm ropes. Sure. I wear a lot of stuff. You don't get to tell me who I am. Doesn't matter anyway. 
The Antom don't follow the Kuhn either. Not anymore. So what made you want to work with us? I don't. I thought you wanted us here to help you. No. We're not fighting the dragon? No. Vinsomers eat big game, usually sea life. They're not hostile unless you do something stupid. Like poke around in its lair? Right. So we lure her out, then the lords go in and grab anything shiny. But you do kill dragons, right? You're a dragon hunter. I kill them when they need killing. This one doesn't. All right. Beach is up ahead. Right. You said we'd find bait here? Bait will find us. Come on. How is the bait gonna find us? Look, Deep Stalkers! I knew they'd find us. The Deep Stalkers are the bait? <laughs> yup. Why are you making me feel sorry for them? <laughs> what a few of them. Dragons have big stomachs. <laughs>
I think that's the last of them. Now what? Now I get the fire going and make our dragon dinner. Good. She'll like it. And this potion will put her to sleep for a few hours. But we gotta get her attention. Use the horn up there. Come on, she'll be here soon. So, we held up our end of the bargain? You did okay. So, what do y'all do? Right now, we're trying to take down evil god monsters and their blighted dragons. What? That can't be right. Dragons don't get blighted. They're smart enough to avoid that crap. However it's happening, the gods are using the blight to force dragons to attack people. That's messed up. Somebody needs to stop them. That old Grey Warden fort. Anton might be there. I want to see what they're doing. If it's anything the Lords of Fortune need to worry about. She responds to the horn? This time. Uh, you fed her before then? Took a while to get her used to it. It sounds like you've got a train. You train a dog. You reach an understanding with a dragon. Vinsomers are clumsy on land. Better in the water. They cut the surface like a knife. They swim? They dive down after prey like a giant bird. Sometimes they stun schools of fish with their lightning. Gulp them all down in a single bite. Too close. Letting us know she sees us. Might also be her way of saying thanks for the food. <laughs> Someone built an entire fortress and then left it empty? There seems to be a big Grey Warden outpost. They left after the dark spawn stopped coming.
Yep, that's the on Tom. Let's check inside the fort. I want to see what they're doing. So the Antarm took over the outpost after the Grey Wardens abandoned it? Yeah. Ravane and the Canari were at peace forever. Then the Antarm broke away from the Kune and invaded. The Canari builders are part of a different past. They didn't break away. So the Antarm take over old forts like this instead of building their own. Grapples, nets, the Antom are going after the Vincimer. Is that bad? She can deal with that, right? Not after I drugged her. Come on. They've been watching. They knew I'd drug her to make her sleep. Ah! 
assholes! Trouble nearby. <laughs>
They haven't seen us yet. We can run. Hey! I brought her down. She's mine by right. <laughs> Makara. Mara Namra Benari Ebala. Atash Martarost, Asitarala. Kyuto. You must see the shit So, he breathes fire. Yeah, but how? Are we supposed to know this? I don't remember mentioning it. 
We can talk later. Let me know when you're ready. I'll burn the chains off the dragon. Does she know we're trying to help? No, she's pissed. We don't have to fight her, do we? I don't think she'll chase us. flew off, now safe to finish its nap, uninterrupted. Another was about to wake up. The surviving Antam poachers carried news of a fire-breathing Kunari back to their leader. Tosh and the team would soon find themselves being hunted by the Dragon King. Wonderfully done, Tash. While you played with the big scary dragon, we looted the shiny stuff from her cave. So, Rook, Varix talked about you. I see he wasn't making shit up this time. They call me Isabella, among other things. What did you find in the cave? A lot of dragon shit, gold, some fancy trinkets, and this. It almost looks like a rune. Does it do anything? Shit, I hope not. It conveys knowledge. While not as impressive as a magical explosion, it can still change the world. Rook, this is Shathan. She's our expert on Canari artifacts. This piece predates the Steel Age by centuries. It comes from an earlier attempt at settlement. One that left no survivors. You used your fire. What? No. Were you seen by the Antam? You promised you would be careful, Evatosh. You need to be away for a while. It is good you are joining Rook's team. I'm what? We're looking for a good dragon hunter. That would be you. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Contact here said you'd agree to join us. Didn't Shathan... I thought you and your mother had agreed on this. No. Nope. Whoops. Well, you'll work it out. You always do. For gold and glory, Tash. You're welcome back whenever. Rook, pleasure doing business with you. Mother, what did you do? I thought you would enjoy the chance to work with Rook's team. Do you not wish to stop these blighted dragons? Of course I do. I might have decided to join on my own. Maybe after you talk to me. I talked to you about not using your fire in front of the Antam. I will prepare potions for you to take. Would you prefer ginger or lavender? <sighs> the ginger. Hassam Vinek. Rook, you will keep her safe. Your mother doesn't mince words. I like that. Yeah. She's a lot. Anyway, welcome to the team. Might not be what you wanted, but we could really use the help. I'll get my stuff. Hey. It is. Sorry? Joining your team. It is what I wanted. Glad to hear it. The Antom hate magic. They always talk about how much better Kunari are than everyone else. 
Now they worship elven gods for power? Hypocrites. But it explains why they pushed so hard into Ravain. With this, Demetta's crossing and the Blighted Dragons, and everything else we're all dealing with, feels like we're at war. A lot of little wars. They want a war? We'll damn well give them one. You need an army to fight a war, though. They've got two. The Venatori and Antom wasted no time allying themselves with the gods. Power at any cost. So how do we fight back, then? We don't have an army, but we do have allies. Like the Veil Jumpers. After Demeter's crossing, it's personal for them. I might be back in the Crow's good books after we save Treviso. You impressed Viago. That is quite a challenge on its own. Also, Lady Morrigan requested a meeting at the Cobbled Swan in Minrathis. Could she have found some trace of the gods? Probably. Morrigan doesn't visit crowded taverns for fun. I also heard from Grey Wardens out in the Hosberg wetlands, Antoine and Evka. Something strange is happening with the Blight there. I bet it involves the gods. Gilanane has laid low since we hurt her dragon, but the Blight spreads rot wherever the gods go. And no one's better at tracking Blight than Wardens. Morrigan and those Wardens feel like our best leads on finding the gods. Are they really gods? Or just ancient mages? It's not clear. They're gods. Or oh, the closest damn thing to them. Nev, you're back. Yeah, I am. Good to have you back. This is Professor Emmerich Volkarin, our Fade expert, and Tash, our dragon hunter. They joined while you were away. Hey. Charmed. Right. Not everyone has met. So you're a dragon hunter? Mirathus could have used you. What's going on? Back home. What isn't? Look, you made an impossible call without enough information. I get it. It's the corner the gods put us in. It just... might take time to shake off. You are back though, right? Yeah, Bell. I'm back. Given how things have gone, I wouldn't blame you for staying away. So thanks. We can't do this without you. After what happened to Minrathus, I've got even more reason to go after the gods. If anyone's got a shot at this, it's the people here. I'm still on the job. Count on it. Great. Let's follow up on some leads. I'll let Lady Morrigan know we're ready to meet. I'll send word to Antoine and Evka. They're holed up in a town called Lavendel. Everyone else should rest up. Be ready to move when I call. Never easy, is it, kid? What do you mean? Making the big choices, then living with the consequences. I don't think it ever should be easy. As soon as it gets easy, you're not the right person to make those decisions. It needs to be hard. That's how you know you're taking it seriously. And that's why I recruited you, Rook. You get that. Not everyone does. Anyway, you've got a meeting with Morrigan to attend, and dealing with whatever the Wardens found. All this chatting has taken it out of me. Think I'll rest for a bit. Good work, Rook. You'll find your way through this. I know it. <laughs> 